Welcome to Gallery and Music. Jean-Francois Millet was a French painter and one of the founders of the Barbizon School in rural France. He was born on October 4, 1814, in Grouchy, Normandy, and died on January 20, 1875, in Barbizon, France. Millet is best known for his realistic depictions of rural life and landscapes, particularly his scenes of peasants working in the fields. Millet's upbringing in rural France heavily influenced his artistic style and subject matter. He began his artistic training at a young age, studying at the École des Beaux-Arts in Cherbourg and later at the studio of Paul de la Roche in Paris. Despite receiving formal academic training, Millet rejected the conventions of academic art and instead sought to capture the beauty and dignity of everyday life. In the 1840s, Millet settled in the village of Barbizon, where he found inspiration in the surrounding countryside. It was here that he developed his distinctive style, characterized by its earthy tones, bold compositions, and emphasis on the human figure. Many of his paintings from this period depict scenes of peasant life, such as The Gleaners, 1857, and The Angelus, 1859, which became iconic images of the 19th century peasantry. Millet's work was often met with controversy and criticism, particularly from more conservative critics who objected to his sympathetic portrayal of rural laborers. However, he also had a significant influence on later generations of artists, including Vincent van Gogh and Camille Pissarro, who admired his honest portrayal of working-class life. Jean-Francois Millet's masterpieces, often depicting rural life and peasants, are known for their realistic portrayal, social commentary, and emotional depth. Here's a closer look at some of his most famous works. The Gleaners, 1857. This iconic painting depicts three women gleaning leftover grain after harvest. It sparked controversy for its perceived socialist message, highlighting the poverty and hardship faced by the working class. However, it also resonated with viewers for its portrayal of dignity, resilience, and the cyclical nature of life. The Angelus, 1857-1859. This painting shows a couple praying in a field at sunset, Initially criticized for its perceived religiosity, it became a beloved image symbolizing piety, peace, and the connection between humans and nature. The use of light and shadow creates a sense of solemnity and quiet contemplation. The Sower, 1850. This figure of a man sowing seeds against a vast landscape embodies themes of labor, hope, and the cycle of life. The painting's simplicity and composition create a sense of monumentality and universality, making it a powerful symbol of human endeavor. <laughs> 